When North Middle School closed its doors for students on Thursday, March 12, 2020, it was thought to be a temporary measure, one that would allow us to come to grips with and prepare for the COVID-19 virus that had made its way through Asia and Europe. Little could we have imagined that North Middle School would remain closed for almost six months. But that is what was necessary to combat the global pandemic and flatten the curve. Doing school took on a whole new meaning, but the whole of the North Middle learning community was up to this challenge. We learned about Google Meet, Zoom, Flipgrid, and the words synchronous and asynchronous became part of our everyday vocabulary. As June turned to summer, our focus turned to reopening of our school for the 2020-2021 school year. How could we ensure the safety of our building so that students and staff could return to take part in what we do best, teaching and learning? Committees were formed to focus on instruction, safety, and building practices, but nothing could take place unless we could make our buildings safe. The district adopted the three W's, wearing a mask, washing our hands, and watching the distance. With this charge, we were off. Our classrooms were stripped of unnecessary objects. We needed to streamline our classrooms so that desks could be six feet apart. Our amazing custodial staff worked long and hard through August to welcome back students. Temperature stations were established, one-way hallways were assigned, Socially distanced dots were placed throughout our halls, and hand sanitizers were installed. And, due to social distancing guidelines, we had to establish two groups of students, hybrid A and hybrid B, so that North Middle School could open in a socially distanced manner. And once these measures were in place, we needed just one more thing, students. On September 8th and 9th, North Middle School's dedicated staff welcomed back students after almost six months. Kids were in school, laughing and learning, and teachers were all in, leading and learning. The world felt right. After being out of school for six months, it felt kind of overwhelming, but it also felt very good because I was able to see all the people that I missed. It was very exciting because I was looking forward to how school would be with a hybrid format. So I was a little nervous, but it, it began to like become a routine and like normal again, but I still miss a lot of my friends that are on the other days. Everybody that's back in the building, students, teachers, administrators alike, everyone is just so appreciative of the opportunity that there's this really exciting energy in the building throughout the hallways and in the classrooms. So everyone's so happy to be back. In the spring especially, we didn't really have someone to ask. Um, so we did have the email, but we didn't have a school email. And I just really appreciated the teachers um, like working with us. So what I appreciated about being back in school is how much the teachers thought of, of like how to keep us safe. I'm so happy that they like put so much effort into us and I'm happy that they um, let us get adjusted into it. I know how much effort it took to make all the lesson plans with the hybrids. It was uh, really fun and um, I really missed school and I was really bored around the house. Being able to not only convey the material to us while keeping us all together is just amazing and I really want to thank them for that. The thing I'm most enjoying about being in school is just actually being back in school. I miss the energy in the hallways. I miss walking down by the music room and listening to the music as you walk by. I miss the smell of the cafeteria as you're going by the cafeteria. Um, I miss talking to my athletes. Um, I, just, I just miss being in school. Some students were still all remote. But through the hard work and commitment of our teachers, these students felt as though they were in class with their peers. One of the main successes of this school year is the ability to transfer education onto an online platform that could be used further in the future. By watching my mom teach her college courses and the struggle to engage the students remotely, it really makes me appreciate the hard work and the struggle that our teachers are encountering each and every day to ensure the best education for all of the students. And it has been an exciting six months as we've continued to navigate school during a global pandemic. Some things look different, our lunch rooms, our music classes, our PTO meetings, but some things are still the same. So some of the 
the challenges I feel like is trying to pay attention over Zoom, you know, having all the distractions of your family around you. When we're at home, I, I get like distracted. Sometimes I just like wander off, you know. I appreciate all of my teachers who have worked really hard to make the school year so great. And I appreciate all of my friends who have helped me and the new friends I've made. You know, our students are so resilient and I think that they've learned so much about how much they love being here in school. Thank you to all my teachers for a great eighth grade and three years of middle school. Teachers are engaging students in all types of activities, transforming education in real time. Traditional events have become fairly unconventional and all along the way we've come together as a family. Students, staff, families and community, working together to keep our schools safe and open so that there is a constant in the lives of our students. If I had the magic wand, I would wish for school to go back to normal with no social distancing and being able to have all my friends in the school at once. I probably wish for, it's, it's, it's difficult because like, I can, if I could wish for COVID to go away, then that's obviously what I'd choose, but like, because if I, if, I, if I say like, oh, I'll lift the restriction to masks, then that becomes a problem, right? I'd say I would lift COVID, make it no longer. I would wish that we, would, we didn't have the masks and that we would be able to see people's faces. Because just seeing their eyes and hair doesn't really give an impression as seeing their whole face. For there to be no coronavirus, it complicates stuff and I, I had coronavirus before, it's a zero out of 10 experience. I'd want my locker back. It's horrible to carry a jacket around. We have so many things that we can go through and experience together, so just be hopeful for the future. There appears to be more light at the end of the tunnel. Vaccinations are taking place, and we all hope that when the time is right, we'll be able to return to North Middle School as a whole, all students in person so that we may put the past behind us while never forgetting the lessons we've learned during this time. Regardless of when this happens, we are all ready. We are committed to our shared purpose of learning well and staying safe. We are Northside, Strongside.